Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So this is something that I, I always get asked or I always see on um, the Magpie Facebook group is about stamping with Magpie dust. Um, so I thought I'd do um, a tutorial for you on showing you three different methods of how to use the Magpie dust. So on my index finger we've got actually stamping with the dust alone. Then on my middle finger here we've got stamping with gel polish and adding the magpie dust. And then on my ring finger we've got using the magpie dust as a base and stamping with normal stamping polish on top. So three completely different methods and um, completely different looks. So if you want to find out how I created these then just stay tuned. So for the first um, method we're going to be using OPI gel colour and this is one of the new... Um, colours from the Soft Shades collection. It's called I Am What I Amethyst. So, and we're going to be using that as our base colour today. Then the Magpie Dust I'm going to be using today is Nora. Then I'm going to use the Petla Plate Toro. I'm then going to use the Nail Stamping Queen UK Stamping Polish in black. And then for stamping, I've got my Marshmallow Squishy Stamper and a Fabio Nails Scraper. For this method, you can use any stamper that you like, whatever one you have, sticky, non-sticky, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I've painted my ring finger because that's the one that we're going to be working on today. So, and I'm just going to get the dust. Also going to get my Magpie Detailer Brush. And I'm literally going to pat this into the inhibition layer then I'm going to get my magpie duster brush dust off any excess and I'm going to top coat that once and cure in my lamp so I'm then going to get a lint-free wipe with some gel cleanse on it and just wipe off the inhibition layer. Then I'm just going to get a buffer file um, and use the 180 side and I'm just going to buff off the shine of the nail. Then I'm just going to wipe all the dust off again. So I'm then going to get my stamping plate and my stamping polishes. So then I'm going to clean around the edges, I'm going to top coat twice with my gel top coat, curing in between each layer, then I'm going to take off the inhibition layer and I'll be back with you. So and here is the finished result. So that's kind of the basic way that most people would do it is obviously having the dust as just the base colour and then just stamping over the top. So we'll move on to the next one. Okay, so for the next method, I'm going to be using OPI Gel Colour in Lincoln Park After Dark, which is a basic black um, base colour. Then I'm going to be using OPI Gel Colour in Turn On The Hort Light as my stamping gel. So then for dust today, I'm going to use Magpie Dust in Tiara, which I think most people have got, which is why I sort of chose to show you this one. So and I'm just going to be using the same stamping plate again, which is the Toro plate by Petla Plate. So and again, I'm going to be using my Squishy Marshmallow Stamper and my Fabio Nail Scraper. So and for this method, I really would suggest using a non-sticky old stamper because you're going to need to use some sort of acetone or cleanser on the stamper to actually get the gel polish off a lint roller just does not do it because it's sticky um so use an old stamper if you've got one i mean i've got two of these so this is my older one um which i'm happy to use a bit of acetone on because i've got so many anyway so yeah i would really suggest using one that is quite old and you don't mind using acetone on okay so for the first step um for this one you're going to use your base color so obviously i've used black because i really want to show you um the sort of dust standing out from the background so i've done my two coats cured in between each layer so in a bit like what we did with the pigments, I'm going to get a lint free wipe and some gel cleanser and I am really going to scrub this nail so that there is no tacky layer on there at all. 
you really want this to be complete and utterly matte and for there to be no inhibition layer on there at all left. So, and you'll be able to see if there's any sort of inhibition layer still on, especially like around the cuticle area, just make sure to be really vigilant with this bit because you really don't want any of the dust sticking to anything but the gel polish that you're stamping with. So now we're gonna get on to stamping with the gel polish. Okay, so I'm gonna use this large image here. I think I used this one for the pigments as well. So we're really going to put a lot of gel polish onto the image and we're just going to let that all settle on there for about 30 seconds if you want to you can set the timer on your lamp you know just put your hand in the lamp obviously don't put the stamping plate in the lamp but just to kind of time yourself for those 30 seconds just so that you're giving that gel polish enough time to really sink into the metal okay so now we're going to get our scraper and we're really going to scrape over the image and then we're just going to press straight down on the stamper so hopefully you can see that and the same as we did with the pigments we really want swift movements here going straight down and then straight off so hopefully you can kind of see that it's quite faint but it's fine because we're going to put the dust on top anyway we just really want the tackiness there so before we put this in the lamp we just need to quickly clean up around the edges so just with your clean up brush just make sure to clean up around the edges otherwise you will have cured all of that gel polish to your finger which you don't want at all okay. so now i'm going to put that into my lamp and cure for 30 seconds okay so that's been cured in the lamp for 30 seconds so now we're going to get on and put the dust on top so we're obviously using tiara for this so and i'm just going to use my detailer brush again so and um, all I'm going to do is just pat that over the nail and hopefully you can kind of already see the bits that it's sticking to. It's not sticking to the black at all. Then we're going to get our duster brush. So and we're really dusting off the excess here and just making sure that there's no bits stuck to the black as much as possible like that so now i'm going to top coat this twice curing in between each layer then i'm going to wipe the inhibition layer off and then i'll be back with you so and here is the finished result so obviously this one isn't as sharp as the um sort of pigment one that i did a few weeks ago um and that's really probably down to the fact that um maybe my gel polish stamping wasn't spot on um and also the dust are just so so fine so fine i mean you can see it's all over my hand everything so um but it's a different look it's a different way of using them so now we get on to the third and final method so for this last method of stamping with dust i've got api gel color in lincoln park after dark which is a black base for stamping, I'm going to be using Magpie Dust in Opal, and this is from the Too Faced collection, and this is only sold in a set of four. Again, I'm just going to use my Toro Petler plate. And when you're choosing um, a plate for this specific method, you need one that is deeply etched. Um, the Petler plates are well known for being deeply etched wouldn't suggest using like a Born Pretty Store or Mayu London one with this method because I don't generally think that it would work um, but the Petler plates are generally quite good and also you have to be quite specific with what design you're choosing you need one that's got sort of big parts of um, areas I would say don't go for something really small like this because it's just not going to work you need something that's kind of big and bold because if you go for something like that that's got loads of little details it's just going to look like a hot mess so again for scraping I've got my squishy marshmallow stamper and my Fabio nail scraper now again with this one I really do suggest using an old non-sticky stamper one that you're okay with using acetone on because you are not going to get the dust off at all uh, from a sticky stamper 
they are going to stick to that stamper and they're not going to come off at all and also um, even with a non-sticky stamper trying to use a lint roller isn't going to work so you need to have one that you can use acetone on and I'm saying this from experience I've done it before I've used a sticky stamper thinking it would be better and it really wasn't I yeah it was a nightmare to get the dust off so just be careful with what stamper you're using again just using an old one like this would be perfect okay so the first step that I've done is painted my nail with the black gel polish doing two layers curing between each layer and the inhibition layer is still on there do not wipe this off because that is what the dust is going to stick to so unlike with you know some of the other ones you wipe off the dust or the inhibition layer before you stamp don't do this with this one because it just won't work okay so I'm going to get my dust and my detailer brush and some of it's already fallen out I'm just gonna basically pat the dust all over the image that I want to use. I'm also kind of spreading it out a little bit, although we're going to scrape. I just want to make sure that all of the areas are covered. Then I'm going to get my scraper and I'm going to scrape really hard and again in another direction. Then I'm just going to get my stamper pressing straight down. So I don't know if you can see this sort of sheen on there. And again, like we did with the um, gel polish, we really just want to stamp really quickly and in one swift movement. So, and there you have it. So, and obviously you don't want to brush off any excess. You don't need to with this one at all. Um, I mean, as you can see, some of the dust hasn't picked up some of the tiny, tiny details um, from the image, but it's done it pretty well. So I'm now just going to top coat this twice, making sure that my first layer of top coat is really, really floaty so that I'm barely touching the nail. I'm just moving the product around slightly just to make sure that we don't actually move any of the dust into areas that we don't want. So um, two layers of top coat, curing in between each layer. I'll wipe off the inhibition layer and then I'll be so, back. And there you. you have the finished result. So all three methods are completely different. They give off completely different effects. Um, my favourite personally is by having the sort of sparkly base with the black stamping on top because I just think it looks so much sharper. But having said that the other two methods are completely different and like I said if you wanted something different that no other person is going to have definitely try out this method um but yeah so I hope that you liked this tutorial guys and my three different methods of how to stamp with magpie dusts please like and subscribe for future videos and I'll see you all again soon bye